Hello and welcome to this short Power BI tutorial with me, James from Add to Their Software. Today we've got this report under development and we're going to look at how we can add vertical and horizontal scroll bars, why that may be a good or not so good idea and what you should bear in mind. You may want to use scroll bars because a client asked for them and because you want to make the report function like a website or web app with the scrolling, but you should be cautious of performance implications of rendering multiple visualizations or images. And is it practical in the real world? Well, there's multiple trade-offs. You could argue that the navigation may become quite complex, but you could also say that end users find this particularly easier and the way the company is set up lends itself to this type of resolution. So to set this up, we need to go into our visual formatting and our canvas settings. Automatically, we have things set to a 16 by nine type. Now we can change this to custom and this enables us to specify a specific pixel height and width. And this is going to be paramount in, in setting up the, the scroll bars. So for example, arbitrary numbers, we could set the height to 1000 pixels and the width to 1500. And you can see this extends the view. Not exactly what we want, however, because we want to enable people to scroll. So we can select actual size. And what this does is it sets the page to the actual size that we specified with our custom pixel size. But an unfortunate thing that comes with this is that the horizontal scroll bar is also activated. So we can actually, we would expect a vertical scroller. So we can select fit to width. And this is just going to enable us to scroll vertically um, as per the, the height that we specified. Now, when we do that though, we'll need to go back and set the width to an appropriate size. So it could be 1080 or 1280, whatever they, that may be, but 1280 would be what most people be aligned to working with. So once we have that set up, it's looking a lot better, but it's important to note you can set the height to whatever you want. So you can go back into your canvas settings and you could extend the height and give people more of a sort of interactive web scrolling feel if that's what they're after. My advice would be to remember, um, at, think about what the end users asked for, um, look at the performance trade-offs, look at things like navigation and ease of use for end users. And if this is a nice visual um, style that can conform to best practices and what people have asked for, great. As usual, if you like this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.